Hi everyone, Captain Rizvi has made this fabulous video where you are going to know about C-Mile. If you are interested as a deck officer, as a deck cadet, as a DNS guy, as a BSc Nautical Science to learn about this, watch this video. And if you like it, go into the description box, go into the comment section. You will find a package that has been specially designed by him for getting you earned respect on ship, having a smooth sail as a deck cadet and most importantly if you are waiting for campus placement get that as well. Let's talk about sea mile. Basically sea mile is the length of the arc of the meridian subtending an angle of one minute at the center of the curvature of the meridian. So earth is not a spherical, it is uh, flattened at the pole here and the bulge at the equator so the radius of curvature will be different and hence the length of the C mile is different at the pole which is maximum here 1861.7 meter and at the equator it is 1842.9 that is the minimum value. Now coming back to the nautical mile so it has been decided and accepted internationally that one nautical mile should be 1852 all right so the unit symbol there is no internationally agreed symbol but different organizations are having different symbols say for example iho that is international hydrographic organization uses m and international civil aviation organization uses nm the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers uses NMI and of course in maritime application US Coast Guard, US Coast Pilots etc. they are using as NM. The one tenth of the nautical mile is called cable. If you are looking for a smaller area less than 600 mile the earth can be considered as plain. However, if there is larger area and the distance is greater than 600 mile, uh, we cannot ignore the curvature. Say for example, here if you look at this a smaller part, then this area, let me just mark it with yellow color here, it can be considered as plane and plane trigonometry is used. However, if we are having the larger area, say like this, we cannot say that this is plane this is curved area so the curvature of our becomes significant and plane trigonometry uh, has to be modified radar stands for radio detection and ranging it provides geographical view of areas around the ship so that is used for position fixing and of course for collision avoidance. You must have heard about X-band and S-band radar. Well, X-band is 3 cm radar and S-band is 10 cm radar. Just to know why it is called 3 cm, there is a formula lambda is equal to that is wavelength is equal to C over F. And C is the velocity of light or electromagnetic waves that is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. Now f is the frequency. For x band the frequency band is 9300 to 9500 megahertz and mega means 10 raised to the power 6 hertz. So if we calculate it comes to 3.16 centimeter and hence we call it as 3 centimeter radar for this wavelength. I hope you can work out how the 10 centimeter is being calculated. 